beautiful people, we're gonna do a cook with me. All right, so we're gonna take a couple of these chicken breasts and cut them in half. Put them in this pan, season them with salt, pepper, and a little garlic. I'll keep the garlic in this one. This one's cinnamon. Don't mistake in the two. Okay, so then and we're gonna in a bowl, we got a half a block of cream cheese. It's like four ounces. And we let that come to room temperature. We're going to add in a fourth cup of mayonnaise, a cup of mozzarella cheese, a half a cup of cheddar cheese, and then we'll spread it on top of the chicken. We're going to put cover it in tinfoil and bake it and then when it comes out of the oven we're going to this is going to be cooked it's not going to put raw bacon on it but I'm cooking the bacon separate we're going to crumble up some bacon and put it on top of it all right it's going to be delicious I think it's called million dollar chicken or something I found that recipe on Pinterest let's do it okay I'm not going to show you step by step it's like Boom, and then the chicken's gonna be here, all right? Ready? Boom. All right, there it is in the pan. That little peppy, hey. Peppy here. All right, salt. Salt, all right. And garlic. Oh, garlic. Alright. Now let's mix up our cream cheese mixture, okay? It is like, boom, it'll be here. I got a piece of fuzz on my hand. We're going to use one third less fat. And we're going to add in some mozzarella. Remember mozzarella? Sharp cheddar. Mayonnaise. Uh, start all up and slather it over the top. All right, let's do it. All right, we've mixed up our cream cheese, mayonnaise, mozzarella cheese, and cheddar cheese, and that's what it looks like. Then we're gonna put it on top of the seasoned chicken, just like that. Boom! Boom goes the cannon. All right. So we're going to put this into the oven after it preheats. I forgot to turn the oven off. We're going to preheat the oven to 350, bake it for 30 to 40 minutes until the internal temperature is 165. That is if you have a meat thermometer. I just usually take like a piece in the middle and cut and see if it's done. Mm -hmm. I know. Why don't I have a heat, a heat thermometer, meat thermometer, a meat thermometer? I don't know. Do y'all have a meat thermometer? Or y'all just cut into it, see if it's done. All right. <coughs> anyway, let me put the little on here. I'm going to cross the top. Nice and soft. By lemon and foil. Roll this out. Roll this out. Alright, so when it bake, bake babies, we're going to put it in there. Alright, until then we'll be... I'm going to see what mouse the problem is. It's a mouse. What's the problem, mouse? Mouse! At least she's hungry. I'm going to get her a new plate of food. You hungry? You hungry? She's hungry. Right, people, we're cooking our, we're going to cook our bacon at the same time as the chicken. We're going to pop this in the oven and on the last 15 minutes of bake time for the chicken, so that way the bacon and the chicken will be done at the same time. All right. Okay, it's time to think about side dishes. So I think uh, we'll have some Mexican rice. I never noticed this on the side, it says plant-based, it's not rice, a plant-based product, why does it, I don't understand, let's look, look at the ingredients, I'm 
confused. Why, why would it have to say plant based? I don't know. I'll put this back. We're going to uh, stir that up and we'll have some sweet peas. Picked and packed the same day. Great value. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all like peas? I like to refer to peas as little green balls of happiness. My kids don't agree. But they're going to eat them anyway. Right, our chicky licky is done. This is million dollar chicken breast or something. I don't know. Found a recipe on Pinterest and I modified a little bit. Our rice is done. Yes, lovely, lovely. And we got little green balls of happiness. Oh, I love green balls of happiness, don't you? Little green balls of happiness. All right, let's plate it up. All right, the magic of camera. Boom. Yum, yum. All right, there it is. Lovely and delicious dinner. Million dollar chicken breast. Little green balls of happiness. And a Mexican, I don't remember what it is. <laughs> it's just like rice dish. What is it, nor Mexican rice pasta stuff. I don't know, anyway. There it is. Boom, boom. Time to eat. Let me yell for the kids. Kids, time to eat, kids. Yes. Ah. And just like there, there's a kid. There we go, Mr. Patrick. It's a new recipe called Million Dollar Chicken. We want you to try it. And what you think? Mmm, you give it a thumbs up. Mmm, it's a delicious. Alright, make yourself some million dollar chicken. Alright, we're, since we're standing here, we're going to admire my newly painted candle table. I painted that. It looks like a purpley gray on it. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a, like a darker gray. Alright, 28 days to to Halloween. All right, let's come back, pan back. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Mouse, mouse is walking into the shot. She's upstaged my kitties. Okay, this is my bowling mold collection of kitty cats. So that came from Home Depot this year. This one came from at home. I got twins. And then this one came from Target last year, 2022. We got this guy at Target this year. This guy came from Flea Market from mid-80s. This came from Bath and Body Works. Can't remember, like a couple years ago. Fortune Teller came from this year. Black Cat from last year. Walmart, Wax Warmer. At home. I got that off Amazon, I believe. Target. This is like from the 1970s. It's all vintage -y. I had one like this when I was a kid. It had a little slit in the back and I kept my change in it. We had this rat forever. And they all made this. Uh, Alright, so pretty. Oh, so pretty. I love decorating for Halloween, don't you? 